Here this morning, a little bit warmer in Great Falls compared to where we were yesterday at this time. Nothing crazy though. Still, still a cool start. 33 degrees in Great Falls, looking a little bit cooler as we head toward the capital at 21. Teens into southwestern Montana, also tracking the 20s and teens across the High Line. We will see daytime highs today peak a little bit higher than yesterday. The reason behind that, we are going to see a bit of an uptick in the wind. Don't don't worry, <laughs> nothing like Wednesday. However, it is going to be windy enough for that air to compress and heat up as it comes off of the mountain. So 45 in Great Falls looking at 48 in Lewistown and mid 40s there across the High Line as well. So here's what we got going on as the day plays out. We kind of had that ridge build in, but that ridge is going to start to crunch down today. So around the noon hour, some colder air is going to be knocking at our doorstep. That's going to help to kick off some showers throughout north central Montana. They should be straight rain uh, due to the warmer temperatures. Now, as that cold front approaches, some of those showers may turn over to more of a wintry mix as that cold front kind of barrels down on us, especially over the mountains. So you'll notice showers pretty likely for Great Falls. Capital, you'll be kind of right on the edge of a wintry mix at times here. And then that cold front will continue to settle in this afternoon. Cooler temperatures then expected to follow that cold front, of course, dropping overnight lows into the 20s. So 27 tonight in Great Falls, 24 in the capital, looking at the upper 20s across the High Line for the most part, continuing into the eastern plains on Saturday. That colder air is going to continue to settle in across the state. We'll stay a little bit breezy on Saturday as a high pressure ridge starts to move in. Now the take home message with this high pressure ridge is it's not really going to be crazy strong or really amplify, but what it is going to do is it's going to start to hook onto some North Pacific moisture, and it's also going to help to start draw some colder air into the state as we head through the later half of the weekend. I'll show you why that's uh, important momentarily. 42 then tomorrow, looking at 41 on Saturday in the capital. Low 40s continue across the High Line. All right, we're sitting at Sunday now, Sunday morning. So what's going to happen? That high pressure ridge, you have a uh, clockwise flow. Is that right on TV? Clockwise. Uh, OK, anywho, that's going to start to pull that North Pacific moisture into the state, mixing in with the colder air. So flurries are likely Saturday or excuse me, Sunday afternoon into Monday as we head into next week, also offering up some colder temperatures. Now, much like today, before that system gets here, temperatures will kind of peak a bit because of the wind. So we'll still be up to the mid 40s early on Sunday. Then in the afternoon, that system's going to move in heading into next week. Now Monday, some lingering flurries not out of the question. We'll have a brief break. But then another cold front is expected to move through on Wednesday. That one's going to be more aggressive, likely really breaking down that ridge, opening up the door for some more seasonably average conditions. So 45 today, kind of a roller coaster ride with temperatures, some moisture moving in on Sunday. Right now it doesn't look to be terribly impressive, but it is going to start the cooling trend for next week. We'll eventually be down to the 30s and then the 20s. So as for the capital today, 41 wintry mix, then we're going to continue to see those temperatures kind of dwindle next week with some area flurries on Martin Luther King Jr. Day there Monday and cooler later next week. Shannon.